Kelvin Hepner at Ag in Motion for Real Agriculture and uh, pleased to be joined by Owen Kinch of Mojo and Owen, uh, people who know you know you're well involved in uh, autonomous agriculture and where the future is taking us in, in Canada and North America when it comes to autonomy and agriculture. Can you fill us in on what Mojo is working on here and what you're display demoing here at Ag in Motion? Yeah, Mojo is a digital ag technology company. We're based out of Edmonton, Alberta, and we incorporated in early 2020. And our mission is to streamline on-farm operations through innovative digital technologies, AI, and robotics. And our robot of choice is this tractor behind us. It's our first prototype tractor, and we've developed uh, an autonomous navigation and control kit for it that uh, uses uses a camera for its uh, main main input. Uh, main sensor that we're using is the camera and what it allows us to do is it allows us to take an intake of 10 to 30 frames per second uh, image frames per second and and analyze each and every pixel within the frame looking for patterns and ultimately what we're doing is we're we're creating a, a digital twin uh, which is a digital representation of the real world so if you can imagine a, an autonomous tractor trying to operate in the real real working conditions real change real working conditions uh, it needs to understand its environment that it's working in and the camera and our logarithms that create that digital twin basically creates that that map that it uses for its input uh, to its uh, controller. Mm -hmm. So as part of the demonstration you actually drive a quad or an ATV in front of the tractor and it sees the driver and drives around it? Yeah it's pretty fun it's pretty neat to see uh, we've got our tractor going back and forth uh, on AB lines all day and we just interject a, a quad in its way uh, and the, the tractor automatically uh, it, sees, it sees the quad it, it maps it spatially and it uh, recalculates its travel path in real time and just kind of zips around the obstacle just like a human would in real time. Mm -hmm. And also the land roller, you're folding it, putting it into transport mode, back into field mode. I think maybe even better than some human drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Not pointing any fingers at myself, but yeah. It's still up for debate, but <laughs> we, yeah, so we, one of our, one of our key pieces of IP that we're developing uh, and then we're demonstrating here today for the crowd is what we're doing is we're we're using our tractor to transition this roller from the work from the working field state to the road transport state and vice versa and we're using the cameras kind of as our feedback mechanism on you know how do we control the steering the propulsion activate the remotes at what time at what step again just much like the human does but uh, our controller is doing it autonomously without any input from the human okay what does that equipment look like and how does it work? Are you, is this through the CAN, CAN bus or, what, or how are you connect, sending the signals to the tractor, I guess? Uh, our product, uh, it's, it's connected primarily over the CAN bus. It's reading all of, the, all of the existing sensor data that's available from the tractor, like, you know, whether it's steering angle or current speed or whatnot. And basically we take in that data and we have our own sensors, again, primarily the camera, but we do have a couple other sensors like GPS and IMU, and basically we we analyze all that data in real time and and uh, basically, yeah, get the job done in in a changing work environment without without any work stoppages. So, what's the plan for bringing this to market and where we actually see this technology adopted widespread on farms? Well, today the first step is to get here here at Ag Emotion and talk to you, <laughs> and basically tell the world what we're up to. Uh, we're we're developing a, a kit right now, a generic kit, but we're we're here to make relationships with OEM partners, and we wanna we wanna make a large impact, and we think that uh, through through relationships with OEM partners, that's going to be how we make the largest positive impact. An egg. Cool. Well, thanks for your time. It's a very cool product and demonstration here, Owen. Thanks, Kevin.